Hey guys, it's Full Cuts here, Lavender Ref from Montreal, Quebec, in the sunroom with my Habs blankie. And in front of me today, I have a box of 2017 18 Parker's Hockey Retail to unveil in great detail with my ponytail, uh, but a public service announcement. So I do have two large shipping boxes ready to go, flat rate Canadian boxes. The winner has to be Canadian. Some 35 sets at this point dispersed between the two boxes. So enjoy, enjoy. Ideally, it'd be a kid who wins. I have no control over that because I don't know your avatars. It's just a random draw, but I will only pick a Canadian winner. I'll probably go back about two months in terms of the hashtag Drydens and whoever um, ends up being drawn will receive a shipping box. So in the next two breaks, amongst the next two breaks, I will open up a bunch of loose packs that I got from Imaginaire. And in those two breaks, each one I will announce the big shipping box winner. I'm even paying for the shipping. The shipping is like over $70 for those two flat rate boxes, probably more because they're overweight. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It's just a thank you for those of you who appreciate the hobby like I do. Not speaking about card value, yes, speaking about sentimental value in the history of the hobby we've grown to love and enjoy. And I actually found it depressing. I looked up this box to see sort of the credentials on this uh, to see basically the configuration. And when I looked it up online, there were all these questions about, do these cards have value? Parkhurst 2017-18. Parkhurst is a riff on the old 1950s Parkhurst. Uh, and it's like a $20 product. I don't know, the price might've gone up. But guys, these cards are just a rookie a pack. They are low-end cards. Don't worry about value when you're buying Parkers. It's an introduction to the hobby. Good for kids who have very shallow pockets. So let's go, guys. Configuration, 10 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, 120 cards. Base set, 1 through 252, but the base rookie cards would be 253 through 300. Within a break, guys, expect 1.2 of the Blow the Horn um, inserts, 1.8 of the East vs. West, 2.4 of the Parkhurst Internationals, one Provident Prospects, those are the cool inserts you can see on the side, the Brock Besser, there are parallels of those actually. Um, pardon me, one Black Base Parallel, four Red Parallels, and there is an opportunity and a chance to hit an auto. Uh, but those autos are super duper rare. I think they're one in 480. So if you do the math on that, it would be about two and a half percent opportunity. Not great. Uh, seeing stars inserts, I think they're fat pack exclusive, so it wouldn't be in here. Uh, Tis the seasons are unannounced. So those would be really, really cool Eureka hits. You know, like Holy Grail hits, I guess, those unannounced cards. And 12 packs is quite a bit of packs, actually. So it should be hefty with 10 cards per pack, I mean, man. And rookie cards from 2017, it seemed like a bad draft. There's Joe, uh, Josh Hosang, there's Adrian Kempe, there's Barbashev, Joe's Comper, Nikita Sherback, who didn't do much. Brock Besser, of course, Gary Yanov, Tuck, Roslovic is 2007, McAvoy was 2017. Uh, Keller, Brad, Patrick, Yamamoto. So a whole bunch, Hedl, Heischer, DeBrusque, Mete, uh, Dubois was basically 2017 rookie card year. So let's go, guys. We have a Bobby Lou. Uh, we have Ryan O'Reilly. We have an Andrew Ladd. We have a Sakara. We have a King, the King with his heart issues. Uh, I hope he's well. Connor McD, McJesus. And we have one of the international cards and it is OV. OV, bam who hit his cup after 12 years wait. There's John Carlson, uh, one of the best blue liners in the NHL up there with Edmund, of course. And there's Colin White, the Colin White uh, rookie card, as well as the Ben Bishop. Uh, who else, man? I think I've named most of the big ones. Uh, Cunning is another one. He's someone who's trending a bit. We'll see how he does, but he's looked good on occasion. So we'll see, probably has a brighter days ahead of him. There's John Gibson. It'd be interesting, I, at the point of this break, he's someone who could go, right, um, Gibson? Arvidsson, Tavares, uh, Granlund, Taylor Hall, Paul Byron, number 41. And here is the Max Domi Black. So we receive one of these per box. Uh, and we hit the Max Domi. And there is a Brodzinski, Riley, Smith, and there's the Charlie McAvoy. Nice to hit the Charlie McAvoy. All right, McAvoy went in the 2016 draft, right? He was 14th, I think Cunning was 15th in that draft. 
Uh, as far as I know, there's Braden Point, the champion of champions. I always had him in fantasy. Now all of a sudden he's a big thing to everybody. Uh, let's continue on. There's Bob. We have Sean Monaghan. We have Yossi. And here we have the bread man, Red. Uh, I believe we received a few of these Reds. There's Kuznetsov, and we hit the Jesper, or Jesper Brat rookie card. Another decent rookie right there, as well as the Travis Hamannick. And the 2016 draft was Matthews Line 8, uh, Pierre Dubois, who was in here. Puy Yarvi, Ulevi, Kachuk, Keller, Nylander, Alex Nylander would be in this set as well. Uh, Sergachev, I think, was ninth in that draft. We had Jost, who was 10th, and he also would be in this set. Uh, Kucherov, Ekman, Art, Larson, OEL, sorry, Zetterberg, Dylan Larkin, there's Mika Rantanen, uh, the little Joe Pavelski, as well as the Granlin International. And we hit the Brock Besser rookie card. So there you go, we hit the Brock Besser, arguably the best one from this lot. I mean, there's also Nolan Patrick, there's other great ones. Uh huh. And let's continue on. So we're actually hitting a pretty decent lot of the rookie cards, uh, fortunately, is, which is exactly what you want. Rask, there's Shea Weber, Hurdle, Seth Jones, William Nylander, uh, who's not a rookie in this one, Phil Kessel. And we hit the East card of Sid Crosby, as well as the Debrinket. So we really are hitting the better rookie cards. Uh, and there is Nicholas Kurdilis. Okay. 2016 was a pretty amazing draft when you think about it. Debrinket was a second round pick. He was like a 39th overall. Uh, there were others like uh, Boris Kachuk, I think, went a little bit later in that draft in the second round. So, I mean, 2015 and 16 are just such amazing drafts. Uh, quite a bit of depth. Getzlaff, Konechny, who's a good player, but was inconsistent this year. There's Bo Horvat, Malkin, Anze Kopitar, Bobby Ryan. And we have another red here, and it's Nate. Always beautiful to hit a Nate Parallel, one of my favorite players for obvious reasons. It's so funny too, he doesn't get as much love as he deserves. Brian Little, as well as, as the Natchez uh, rookie card, another great player from this draft. And there's Trevor Daly. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm hitting all the best rookie cards. Uh, I think objectively that's pretty true. I see the Kyler Yamamoto as well, another good one. Although he had a bit, bit of a down year, he looked really good at the end of the prior year. Provorov, Palmieri, uh, Patrice Bergeron, Vasilevsky, Dustin Brown, Milan Lucic, and we hit the internationals. Of course, he's an American out of Arizona, Austin Matthews. Uh, wasn't he out of Arizona? It was Arizona, California. I think it was Arizona, right? Uh, there's Jordan Smoltz, rookie Shifley, and there's the Kyler Yamamoto. Yeah, Okay, and Yamamoto, of course, went in 2017, so it would have been this year. He was the 22nd overall by Edmund, pretty small, it's like 5'8". Uh, but 2017 was Heischer, Patrick, uh, Heiskinen, Makar, Pedersen, Cody Glass. I'm trying not to burp, uh, which is something other breakers do. Um, Alexander Steen, Stamkos. We have a Chris Letang, Vlasic, there's Nate. Uh, so we have our prospects there, and I guess it's Nebraska, I'm not sure who it is, or it could be McAvoy, let's just see. Uh, JVR, and oh, nice. So we did hit the prominent prospects. You only get one of these, and we actually hit the McAvoy, uh, who's still trending, I think, to a certain extent, although they've had difficulty on PP1 in terms of their D. Bufflin, and there is Adrian Kempe, another great one. He's someone who people will draft late next year, perhaps, in the uh, in fantasy often a waivers, depending on how deep the fantasy draft is, he's often a waivers pickup for weekend games to secure a win. Uh, Letty, Landeskog, Voracek, Rice, uh, Justin Schultz. There's Sammy Reinhardt, another guy who's been trending big. He looked great at the end of last year. And we hit the John Gibson red, very, very nice. John Gibson's an elite goaltender, as some of you do know. And there, there's the Evgeny Sveshnikov rookie as well as the Mark Mathot, as well as the Luke Cunning, another guy who's been looking pretty decent. All right, so Natchez went, where did Natchez go? I think he went 12th. Nick Suzuki went 13th in the 2017 draft. And then it was Cal Foote. Uh, and then after that, I think it was Branstrom, something to that effect. So there's Goligoski, Sedin, um, yeah, Daniel Sedin, uh, Tarasenko, another guy who might move, Anisimov, Adam Henrique, Tyler Sagan, 
and we hit the Gino Malkin Blow the Horn. It's got sort of, I guess, a red light going there. Sam Gagne. Uh, there's Nico Heischer. I mean, who haven't I hit in this box? It's just, I'm getting all the great rookies. This is just a fantastic box, guys. Uh, last two packs, Jack. Here we go. Jason Demers, Hoffman, Dougie Hamilton, one of my favorite players. Joe Thornton, Dion Phaneuf. We hit the Freddie Anderson and our West card would be none other than Connor McDavid, of course, because this is such a good box. There's a Christian Fisher, Brandon Sad, and finally a Brayden Hopi. Hopi? <laughs> Hopi. Hopi is someone who's optimistic. Uh, last pack, guys. I know I'm just annihilating this stuff, but let's go. If it's a Nolan Patrick, it's a Hopi. Sorry, I just swore. Uh, boop. <laughs> it would, it's like the best break of this stuff. Eric Johnson. Uh, who do, else do we have? We have Quick, we have Bacchus. I uh, didn't Bacchus just re retire? Forsberg, Jane Schwartz. We have Anders Lee, who was injured last year, sadly. And here's a Gabriel Car uh, Carlson, uh, Red Parallel. Eric Comrie. Uh, three rookie cards in this pack. How crazy is that? TJ Oshie. And nope, we actually hit the Mikey uh, Vecchioni uh, rookie card. Not the Nolan Patrick, unfortunately. Uh, great break though, guys, great break. All right, guys, time for the recap. Please be sure to set like hashtag driving again, guys, to get into the draw of those big shipping boxes. So with regard to base cards, uh, some 91 base cards, including, look at this, Ryan O'Reilly, who was the 33rd overall back in 2009. So had a pretty decent career, an all-star and a uh, cup winner. Boom. We did in fact receive some 16 rookie cards, uh, plus, I guess, a parallel, but we hit a lot of the big names. There's Brock Best, there's Charlie McAvoy, uh, Alex Dobrynkit, Nico Heischer, there's Natchez, uh, Conan, Cunnan. So all the big boys, guys, all the big boys minus Patrick, I'd say. Guaranteed four red parallels. And in fact, we did receive them, one black one. So here would be our red parallels. Uh, there's the Gabe Carlson one. There's Max Domi as a black, but of course, Nate. I'll uh, put right up top, beautiful red parallel of Nate. Should receive a bit under two east-west. We did in fact receive two of them. And look at that, we hit the Connor McDavid and the Sidney Crosby. I mean, just absolute perfection in terms of the cards we hit. Who should I put up top? What do you think, guys? I guess it depends on your vintage. Uh, both amazing players. And then in terms of the internationals, guaranteed about 2.4, received three of them. Isn't that awesome? Uh, there is Austin. Uh, I was wondering whether he's from uh, Phoenix or from California. He's actually from both. I think he ultimately, in Arizona or California, he was from, um, he was born San Ramon, I think, but he basically moved to Scottsdale. Uh, then with regard to Blow the Horn, guaranteed one of these puppies, did in fact hit one of these puppies. Where should I put it? I'll put it right up here. Finally, guys, we did hit our prominent prospects, guaranteed one, and we actually hit the 14th overall in 2016 in that great draft, Charlie McAvoy. Uh, yeah, it says, what does it say, plus minus? He's actually plus 80 now, lifetime. I mean, really, really good player. One knock on him, he doesn't score that much, so he's not usually on PP1. They're using Kreslik, they lost Tori Krug. Uh, they used Mike Riley for a bit, so we'll see. But defensively, he is a stud. All right, guys, that's basically it. Please be sure to sub, like, hashtag, dry, and ring the bell, guys. Uh, last chance, last gasp to get into that major draw of some 35 sets over two breaks. I'm going to be full cards live in direct place called Montreal Quebec. Now it's 